Good evening, everybody. Hello, people. Hello, teacher. Hey, Roxana, how are you? ¿Qué tal, Roxana? Todo bien, teacher. Gracias a Dios. ¿Y usted qué tal? Like good, good too. Bien también. Pre vale, qué bueno. Yes, yes. Preguntándome por qué no, por qué no, no asistió anoche a la clase. Me conecté como a las nueve. Es que fíjese, teacher, que estoy estudiando la licenciatura en teología. Ah. Entonces, ayer eh, teníamos este eh, que presentar como una exposición de una materia. Uh -huh. Y fuimos y ya regresamos como a las nueve. Entonces, solo vine y me conecté a la clase. Ah, la fue ahí. Con razón, entonces. Sí, teacher. <risa> no, ok. No, problema, Roxana. Es cool. Vamos. <risa> es bueno tenerla acá de nuevo, ok? Cool. Sí, teacher. Ok. Hey, what about the rest? Y con los demás. How are you people? Good evening. So, Maritza, Diana, Jennifer, and Eric. Good Ahí night, bien. teacher. Hi. How are you? Nah, okay. Cool. Feeling better? Okay. Nice. All right, but I would like you to turn your cameras. Oh, are, are you like like having dinner uh, at this at this hour? <laughs> no. Yes. Nah, okay. Yeah, because I feel like I'm I'm talking to 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 the wall. Good like evening. Alone. Hi, Eric. Uh, sorry, teacher. Uh, ahorita estoy conectado por algo de trabajo. O sea, voy a estar con la cámara apagada unos cinco diez minutos. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> so. Oh, bueno, yo solo voy a estar con en mute. Me va a ver, pero. Que no es que estoy haciendo, pero estoy por trabajo ahorita. Solo okay. mute. Ajá, ajá, ok, ok. Thank you. All right, man. No, no me creo. Ah. Ya le, le voy a compartir pantalla. Ah. <laughs> no, mister, I believe you. I believe you. No problem. <laughs> Let's keep going there. Ok, sí. let's go there. No, okay. Ya le voy a mandar la imagen que me están mandando ahorita del, 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 del trabajo, ya a ver. <laughs> ok, ok. All right. No, man, I believe you. I believe you, Eric. Go on. Okay, let's finish that. So let's see who else who else is, is, is with the camera on so I can talk to uh, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good. And you? Very well, teacher. Very well? Ah, that's pretty cool to listen. How was your day? Um, tired. Tired? Really? Yes. Estamos en época de subir notas ahorita y he estado Ooh, I mean, Ah, really? Where where do you work in? I'm I'm teacher. Ah, really? You teacher? I'm I'm science teacher. Ah. I'm a science teacher. Interesting. <laughs> So you're yeah. you're teaching you're teaching in, in, in the area you live. Right? Wait, what what? So you are teaching in the area in a school where you live. Yes. Colegio de Tista aquí en Cojutepeque. Ah, really? That's cool. That's great. Uh, I mean, I mean, like, 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 just like teaching is, 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 is like, you know, cool, but I know how you feel working in, in a private college. Yeah. 
Hay nada los procesos burocráticos, documentaciones, es estresante. I have been working in, in a college, like, I mean, in a, in a private school like that before. Mm -hmm. yes. and it, it's kind of hard. It's kind of difficult. Like, yeah. Like, like, yeah, you have to accomplish with a lot of things, with a lot of material, and you have to deal with a lot of students in mm -hmm. every classroom. Ah, yeah. mm -hmm. Nada más de recordar esos tiempos, ya me, ya, ya, ya me estresé. <laughs> Sí, déme mi más sentir. De, a mí déme el pésame, por favor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. No, but it's, it's, it's good, Jennifer. It's really cool. It's really yes. cool. Yes. Se goza. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here, here, by the place where I work, in, in, in Usulatan, there is there is a, a an institution like that. There is a colegio dentista too. Mm, sí, un sultán. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. It's sí, pretty. Es una línea de colegios. Uh -huh, it's pretty close from the place where I work. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Great. That's nice. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so I think we're gonna start up uh, because we have a lot of information to share today. We have a lot of feedback and we have a lot of exercises to do and practice to do as well. And besides that, we got one practice missing right from yesterday. Eh, tenemos también que terminar la práctica que no terminamos ayer. So we gotta do that and we get to do uh, like other things. So let's start up. Give me a second, I'm going to pass the attendance list to start. So let's see, Ana Claribel is not here. Ana Maria, no yet. Carlos Ademir, okay, he's not here yet. Eric Guillermo. Listen to you. Okay, good. Hay gran que músico que tiene. Gran músico que estoy. Yo no escucho que está trabajando. Ah, Eric, Eric. No, really, yeah, estoy trabajando. Sí tengo un poquito de salsita para despabilarme un poquito, pero, pero sí estoy trabajando, teacher. Ajá, ajá. Ok, ok. I will believe you. Ok, man. Ever de Jesús. Present, teacher. Nah. There you go. Then we got Fatima Alejandra. Fatima, Fatima, uh, it's not here, right? Uh, Hilmar Cruz. Uf, hoy si perdió Flau Hilmar. No se conectó a tiempo. Okay, Jonathan Alexander. Neither Jonathan. Okay. Uh, Let's say Jorge Elvir. It's not here yet. Uh, Carla Benacer. Present teacher. Okay, good. Margot Hernandez. All right, it's not here yet, right? Hey, Hilmar. Ya comenzamos a perder flow, Hilmar. Lo acabo de mencionar ya. Like, like 15 seconds ago. Ahorita le pongo la asistencia. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Yes. Te perdí la secuencia. The sequence was lost. Okay. Uh, let's see. Maritza Alcira. Present teacher. Okay, good. Natalie Vanessa is not here. Let's see. No, 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 no. Who is who else? Romeo Alexis. All right, not here yet. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Ah, okay. Good. Ruth Joanna. Present teacher. Now, okay, good. Let's continue. Sara Carolina. Sara, Sara, Sara. He said it's not here. Uh, Stephanie Lisette, it's not connected yet. Vanessa Odette. 
present teacher. Okay. Good. Let's see, William Alberto. Hey, William is not here, right? And let's continue with uh, Roxana Yesenia. Present teacher. Okay, good. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Yo solo got... modifico el, el nombre. Ya decía. <laughs> ya decía. ¿Quién es Andrea Cristales? Y, ah, no, no, I remember it's, 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 it's Nubia. Yeah, okay. Uh, Jennifer Noemi. Present. Okay, good. And the last one, we got Diana Gabriela. Present. Okay, good. Listen up. So uh, as we're going to start with the feedback or the general feedback that we're going to have for today, if you remember today is the video conference number five. And what is this video conference about? It's just about vocabulary and structure practice. Okay, básicamente lo que vamos a hacer ahora es un repaso general de los temas principales que hemos estado viendo. Vamos a hacer un par de actividades y vamos a, like, you know, like to practice the uh, questions and answers, positive and negative statements using the main structures and all those things. Uh, creo que con la tarea que dejamos pendiente ayer, Vamos a continuarla probablemente más adelante becas porque veo que hay muchos uh, que faltan todavía, right? That they are not connected yet. So we're going to wait for them to start that activity. So I cannot start that activity right now because there are a lot of people that are missing. Okay, good. But let's start with the short presentation that I got for you. Uh, just to review the main topics that we were discussing in or during the week. So let's remember this is the video conference number five. Okay. And today's topic is just going to be vocabulary and practice. Okay. So me confirma por favor si pueden ver la presentación. Yes. yes. Okay, cool. So let's continue. What are we going to have here in the class agenda tonight? The first topic that we were supposed to be studying the first day, the past Thursday, it was countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Nouns that we can count and nouns that we cannot count. The second topic was have to or has to for obligation. Okay, that was the second topic that we were discussing. It was on Friday. The third topic was can for information and possibility. Okay, we're gonna start that. Uh, we're gonna like practice some questions with that. And then be going to, that that's the structure that we were practicing uh, yesterday. Okay, that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing, right? Just to provide a short feedback from every single topic. And not only the feedback, but also a practice, okay, about that. So let's start with the main things that we uh, are going to have. Let's start with countable and uncountable nouns. Okay, and what are these nouns? Ah, let's start with countable nouns. Let's see, Jennifer, help me already, please. That's short definition Count about countable nouns. Countable nouns are nouns we can count. Ah, okay, good. Are those nouns that we can generally count, right? For example, a cell phone, a computer, a student. So we can say one student, two students, three students, right? We can count them. So cell phones, we can count cell phones, like one cell phone, two cell phones, three cell phones, right, et cetera. Okay, so this is used with, you know, like nouns that we can count. Examples, as I told you, we got them in here. Nubia, help me out reading them, please. Mm. 
novia. Ajá, <risa> novia. No sé, me saqué, me pasó a otra, a otra pantalla esto. <risa> ok. Let's read. Lo, yeah, read, read the nouns, Amma. The examples there. The examples nouns. Okay. Cars, bottles, bottles of water. Bottles of phone, water. Telephone. Uh -huh. Cups of coffee. Okay. Notebook. Jobs. Jobs. Okay, very good. What are jobs? What is the word job? Trabajo. Trabajo. Work is el verbo. Trabajar. Don't get confused. So job. Right, it's, it's, it's just one, it might be one job, two jobs, three jobs, but the word work is verb. It indicates an action. So it's, it's something that we cannot count. Okay, recordemos otra cosa. El café, no lo podemos contar. It's uncountable, like coffee, right? Pero si podemos contar las tazas de café que podemos tomar, that we can count. Okay, like the water. Water is uncountable now, pero ¿qué pasa acá? Acá tenemos, acá lo tenemos ya prácticamente contado porque decimos bottles of water, right? Botellas con agua. So this is different. Now with uncountable nouns. Remember that uncountable nouns are those nouns that we can't count. Okay, and what are those nouns that we cannot count? Ilmar, help me a reading. Uh, uncountable nouns are now we can count. Count. Let's count for mm -hmm. water, oil, sugar, stem, milk, experience, food. Okay, very good. So remember, those nouns we cannot count. So no podemos decir one water, two waters, right? It is not, it is not possible. We can say one oil, two oils, because it's not possible to. Y la palabra comida en general también es uncountable. We cannot count it, right? No, puede, no podemos decir like una comida, dos comidas, right? Like, like talking in a general way in English. So it's not like one food, two foods. And the word experience, two, okay? The word milk, okay? Those are things that we cannot count. All right. Any question with this vocabulary? Hasta acá. Estamos claros que es un nombre contable y, y un nombre no contable. Are we clear with this? Okay. I guess everybody say yes. Incluyendo los que tienen las cámaras apagadas. <laughs> oh my God, I feel weird when, when that happens. But anyways, let's continue. I just see a picture from a computer's window in there, Eric. I don't see that you are working. Ah, es una imagen que me mandaron ahí de un que no se estaba conectando ah. para que la viera que era cierto, pero ahorita voy terminando. <laughs> okay. Solo estoy, solo estoy viendo qué es lo countable and countable nouns. Yes, I mean, those are like the ones that we can count and we cannot count, right? So let's put some examples in there. Acá solo estamos mencionando los nombres que podemos contar y los que no podemos contar. Ahora bien, los vamos a poner en contexto. ¿Cuáles son las dos estructuras que utilizamos con countable and uncountable nouns? How many, how much. How many and how much. Very good. So we got some example questions in here, right? Countable nouns using how many. Eric, help me reading the question. Okay. How many books do you have? Okay, very good. Like, how many books do you have? Ah, check this out. I have two books. You can say, I have one book. I have four books, or etc. Right? So, in that case, you are indicating the quantity of books, right? Another example, Ever, help me out reading. How many students practice English? Uh -huh. 
How many students practice English? Okay, good. Carla, read the answer. 20 students practice English. Ah, okay, very good. So you see, this is a quantity, right? 20 students practice English. Now, the last question using how many, uh, Vanessa? How many cell phones does she buy? Okay, in that case, it's like, does, does she buy? Okay, Vanessa? Okay. All right, thank you, Vanessa. Now, let's see who can help me already. Fatima. Help me a reading, please. She buys two cell phones. All right, she buys two cell phones. Okay, so let's see. Those are, you know, like quantities about something. In this case, we're talking about cell phones. Okay, good. Now, a, with this, do we get any question? Do we have any question with this structure? Or is there something that you do not like kind of understand from this topic? Uh, at least from the structure? Oh, everything is clear with this. Todos estamos claros con esta estructura? I mean, it's pretty easy, right? It's, it's, it's kind of easy. We're not gonna stop that much in here. Okay, good. Uh, can I continue or are you still writing? Okay, I guess everybody finished right, writing. Good, so let's continue. Now, examples using how much. Remember that examples with how much are examples using uncountable nouns, okay? Check this out with uncountable nouns. Romeo, help me reading the question. How much water do you drink? Okay, thank you, Romeo. How much water do you drink? Okay. Literally, it says, ¿Cuánta agua tomas? Okay. The answer, uh, Roxana. Uh, I, drink, I drink a lot of water. Okay, thank you, Roxana. So take okay. a look at there. In that case, we are giving an amount of something that that we include in an activity or action that we do. In that case, we're talking about drinking water. So it says, I drink a lot of water. It's like, como, tomo mucha agua. Ahí es cuando básicamente damos eh, la respuesta de una manera un tanto eh, indefinida, por así decirlo. Simplemente damos una cantidad en general, no algo específico. ¿Cómo sería algo específico? Ah, cuando mencionamos algo exacto. ¿Cómo así? I drink one glass of water or one bottle of water. I drink two bottles of water. Ahí sí ya estamos siendo específicos, ¿ok? A pesar de que hacemos la pregunta con how much, podemos contestar con algo contable. Pero recordemos, cuando usamos eh, algo contable ahí, no nos referimos al producto, sino a la cantidad, ¿ok? En algo que sí podemos contar. Like in this case, we can count a bottle. Entonces, en este caso podemos contar una botella, un vaso, right? So in that case, that's why the answer is being given with countable. Ok, pero cuando ya nos referimos al, en sí al líquido, in this case the water, solo podemos mencionar like a lot of water, mucha agua, ok, a little bit of water, poca agua, ok, or some water, algo de agua. Ok, let's, let's keep that in mind. Next example, Rosa, help me reading. How much experience do you have? Nah, okay, thank you. How much experience do you have? Okay, good. Maritza? 
Can you read this short answer? Maritza. Okay, I I think she's not there. Uh, let's see who can help me out. Nubia, help me out, please. I have little experience. Okay, I have little experience. Tengo poca experiencia. So you see, like I have little experience, like poca experiencia. Okay. And the last question that we're going to be practicing with this, uh, let's see, William, help me out, please. Okay. Uh, how much money does she have? Okay, very good. Yeah. How much money does she have? Good evening, Jorge. Jorge, help me out reading. Hello. Okay, ya aprovechando que estaba saludando ahí, let's, let's read the answer to that question, to the last question. Uh, last, how much yes. money does she have? Uh -huh. The answer? She has $10. Now, okay, she has $10. Okay, aquí a pesar de que estamos hablando de una cantidad, okay, estamos especificando en la respuesta, remember, en la, en la pregunta tiene que ir con how much. Why? Porque la palabra money en general no es contable. Remember that, right? It's uncountable. The word money. Okay. Uh, I guess uh, right up to here, we are pretty cool. We are, we are okay. Creo que hasta acá estamos bastante bien. Okay. What are we going to do with this information? Now, let's put it into context. Okay. And how are we going to put it in the context, let's just listen up. Quiero que en su cuaderno, all right, in there, me escriban una pregunta usando how much y una usando how many, but don't give the answer, okay? Just the question, right? Only the question. And let's see how we can answer that question over here in the class, okay? Let's write down one question using how much and one question using how many. Ahí queda opción de ustedes si la hacen en tercera persona o primera persona, ¿ok? It's up to you. First or third person. Both ways are possible. Let's do it. Let me know when you finish. Remember, only the question. The answer is being given by, by one of your classmates. All right, just let me know when you finish. Finish. Okay, okay. very good. So let's wait for the rest of your classmates to finish. Please let me confirm when you finished so we can move on. You finished, Eric? Okay, good. Jorge, do you finish? Oh, sorry. I see the other, other items and then my work. Sorry, but they try the 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 the, the terminate the exercise. Uh, okay, like try to finish the exercise. Yeah, I mean yes. it was the uses of how much and how many. How Remember much? how many with countable nouns or nouns that we can count, like computers, cell phones, students, right? Okay. 
things that we can count and how much with things that you cannot count. Okay, perfect. Gracias. Thank okay. you. Okay, nice. Carla, you finish? Okay, so almost everybody's finishing. So let's start up. Uh, and I'm going to start with the first one on this line. Let me see who's the first one. Ah, Eric. Let's go, man. You're the first one in, in, in the, on the screen. So let's do it. I want you to read, Eric. I want you to read. Listen up. The first question, using how much? And I want Carla to answer that question. Okay, Carla. Hi, Carla. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> okay. okay, Carla, how many pairs of shoes do you have? Repeat, please. How many pairs of shoes do you have? Uh, I um, I have three pants. Three pairs of shoes. Pairs of shoes. Pairs de zapatos. Uh, pants, let's go. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I have um, 10 pairs of shoes. 10 pairs of shoes. Jesus Christ. And I, I, I just got two of them. Ones to go out and have fun, you know, like the ones like, like, like we can use with the sport clothes and the ones, the formal ones that I need to, to work and that's it. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, yes, obviously. I mean, the ones that I use like most of the week from Monday to Saturday. And then on Sunday, when I go out, I go, I go out with, with, with the other ones, right? With the sport one. <laughs> Okay, Carla. Good, Eric. Let's Woman. read this. Women, yeah, women. Let's read the second question, Eric. Okay, Carla. Um, uh, creo que me va a decir que no aplica, pero le vamos a cambiar. La la pregunta original es how how much beers do you drink? Pero lo vamos a cambiar a how much Coca-Cola, do you drink? Bueno. Para las ambas tengo respuesta. Ah, oh, ok. <laughs> ok, Eric, le hizo así, lo sentó y le hizo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ok. Uh, I drink uh, very beer. A lot of beers? A lot of beers. Nah, ok. Okay, good. And Coca Cola. Le digo que para las dos. <laughs> so much. <laughs> yeah, a lot of Coca Cola too. <laughs> okay, no, okay, thank you. There you go. Thank you, nice. Carla. Thank you. Okay, Carla. Now I want you to read your questions, and Hilmar is going to answer them. Okay. Hilmar, how many houses do you have? Houses, plural. Houses, yes, yes, houses. Houses. Repeat, please. How many houses do you have? I have two house. houses. 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 Okay. okay. House is only when it is one. Houses when it is plural. Okay, okay. nice. Uh, next, uh, how much is this car? How much is this car? This car, this car. Okay. Yeah. It talks about money, Hilmar. Yes, yes. Yes, yeah. What's this? ¿Cuánto cuesta tu carro, verdad? O algo así. Yes. Okay. ¿Y a mí no cuál? ¿Cuánto le dice? ¿Cuánto? Ya se dice cuatro mil. Four thousand. Four thousand. Ah, ok. Eh, vamos a ver la respuesta. Eh, 
Quería hacer. Let's try, let's try. Four thousand. Okay, no. Nah. Ah, come on, man. All right. These oh, my are, car. These uh -huh. are. My car. Okay. Is. Four thousand dollars. Four thousand dollars. Okay. Thank you. Now, okay. Very good. Because, like Carla asked, I like, how much money, right? Yeah. Is that car? Okay. Good. So, thank you, Carla, for the questions. Now, Hilmer. You're welcome. Okay. Now, Hilmer, I want you to uh, read the questions that you have, and Nubia is going to answer. But try to do it like in a hurry, right? Like to continue the practice. Okay. Uh, how many gigabytes of memory does your cell phone? Does your uh -huh, does your cell phone? Le falta el verbo principal. Have. Have. Okay. My cell phone have has has singular. 60, uh-huh. 68 gigabytes, creo, no sé. 68 gigabytes, ah, uh, uh, okay. Nice. Okay. How much coffee do you drink? Repeat, please. How much coffee do you drink? Ah, okay. I drink... I drink I drink like five of those, Hilmer. <laughs> ah, okay, good, Nubia. All right, okay, uh, Hilmar, thank you. So now, Nubia, read your questions, and Jennifer is going to answer them. Okay. Jennifer, how many cars do you have? No, sí, <ríe> me recuerda mi, pro, mi pobreza. <ríe> ¿Qué más? <No. ríe> ok, let's put it negative. I don't. I don't have any, a car. Any cars. Any, any car. Ah, ok. Ok. The second question. How much chocolate? Chocolate, 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 do you eat? Alio, eat chocolate, chocolate. Cause, mm, produce, ah. teacher, como sería? Ah, okay, no, 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 give me, give me a second. Okay. What was the question, Nubia? How much chocolate? Do you um, eat? Ah, eat. I heard. I, I, I thought it was I drink. Eat. Oh. Ah, but it's eat. Like, ah, that's uh, that's in bars, right? Okay. I eat little chocolate. Repeat again. I eat uh, chocolate. I eat little. No, in that case, like just some chocolate. Some, some. chocolate. I'll go chocolate. chocolate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like some ah. chocolate. Okay, good. Okay. That was the second one. Okay, Nubia, thank you. Now, Jennifer, I want you to read your questions, and Fatima is going to pay attention and answer. Okay, Fatima. How many cats do you have? I I don't have any cats. <laughs> Perdón, teacher. No puedo tener. I don't. No have <laughs> cats. I'm sorry for cats. you, Fatima. I have a lot of cats. <laughs> no, a mí no me gusta. 
<laughs> Pero ito si. Pero ito si. Uh -huh. I broke in my heart. Second question. <laughs> Mine too. Mm -hmm. Fatima, how much do you want? Uh, how much sugar do you have? Do you want your coffee? <laughs> okay. I repeat, repeat, I, repeat. Uh, how much uh, sugar do you want in your coffee? I I I want little sugar in my coffee. Yeah, okay, good. A little bit of sugar in my coffee. Good. Thank you, Jennifer. Now, Fatima, read your question and Roxana is going to answer. Roxana, how many dresses do you have? Uy, I have dresses and... Um, <laughs> Twenty dresses. <laughs> How many? How many? No, no, dress no, 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 no. You say I have. I have. I now, have. The, now the quantity. Um, um, fifteen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> why? Why? Why do women like buying a lot of those things? I mean, clothes. I mean, pairs of shoes, high heels. Compran, compran de tacón alto y, y, y solo se los ponen una vez y, and then throw it away y ahí pasan botados. All right? Cuando uno quiere irlos a vender, ahí, no, los voy a necesitar. And they, they, they just put it away. Women. Okay. And second question is, how much tea do you drink? How much tea, right? Do you drink? Okay. Um. No. Que 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 sin. Tea. 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 Ah. Um. I'm. I am um, I drink I dream and now mention uh, a quantity or you can you can use a quantifier a lot of tea some tea. Mm, um some tea no okay some tea like algo de there right something small a small quantity <laughs> No. Okay, good. Thank you, Fatima. Now, Roxana, read your questions and Ever is going to answer. Ever, uh, how many dogs do you have in the house? Okay. How many dogs, with plural, dogs? Dogs. Do you have? Do you have? In your house? In the house. Yes, okay, good. Ever? I don't have dogs in my house. I don't have poop. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> okay. There you go. <laughs> All right, man. Okay, if I will live uh, in, a, in, a, in a house, in a city, I will, I will say the same. Okay, Roxana, read the second <laughs> question. How much lemon in the minute? How much oh lemon? How much okay. Lemon. Do you want? Do you want in the minute? In the minute. Minute. <laughs> Aha, let's put it down. I, I, don't, I don't like lemon minute. Let's and lemon. positive, man, even though you don't like it. <laughs> I don't like them. <laughs> only, only, on, only they shot the killer, but uh, this is, this is when. And, and listen, listen, tequila, people with money, right? <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, tic-tac, okay. Tic-tac. 
me de shot de Tic Tac. Ah, come on, man, like caña rica. <laughs> Teacher. <Okay. laughs> no, I mean, that's, that, that's what the un bolito by here says. <laughs> okay, Rosana, thank you. Now, Ever, read your questions and Vanessa is going to answer them. Okay, Vanessa, listening. Uh, how much time do you spend with your family? Repeat, please. How much time do you spend with your family? How much time with you? Do you spend with your um, family? Um, I, I have. I spend. I, I, I spend. Okay. Uh, 60 hours. Okay. Uh, uh, aunque, aunque, aunque ahí lo puede hacer de una manera general, si gusta. Solamente like, uh, a lot of time with my family. Eh, paso mucho tiempo con mi familia. Like, I spend a lot of time with my family. I spend like a little time with my family. Okay. I spend a little time with my family. Ah, okay. Too much work? Yes, I, I, in my work is eight hours. <laughs> That's a lot of time. That's a lot of time. And just imagine some people uh, have to work from Monday to Sunday sometimes. I used to work in, in, in Sundays even. Just imagine working on Sundays. It was like, ah, uh, but anyways, you know, like we, we need money here. You know, we want money. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Uh, you okay, the next. Oh, no, yeah. no, okay, the second. How many days do you dedicate to reading? I. I. I, uh, I one day. I dedicate. I dedicate one day. One day. Uh -huh. in the reading. All right. Okay. In the reading or to read. Okay. Good. Very good. So thank you, Ever. Now Vanessa, read the answer. I mean the questions, and Jorge is going to answer them. Okay. Jorge. How many, how many notebooks do you need? Notebooks do you need? Um, only one. Uh -huh, but a complete answer, all right. Come on. Okay. I, need... I, I don't need notebook. I, I need. Okay, I need notebook only one. I need one. One Good. notebook. Notebook. Ah, okay, very <laughs> good. Okay. Como usted dijo que solo uno necesitaba eso, like, I need one notebook. <laughs> okay, perfect. Good. Another one. Okay. How much sugar needs for the smoothie? Uh, Do you need for the smoothie? Maybe need only one cup. Maybe one, I need. I need only one cup. Actually, that would be a, a one teaspoon. Una cucharadita. Porque si dice one cup, es una. Es una taza. Es una taza. Ah, es una taza. Ah, es spoon. Es spoon. Yes. Okay. Es yeah, spoon. Okay. Sorry. Uh -huh. Okay. It's here. Yeah. I confuse spoon, but coffee. Now, okay. Ajá. There you go. So, Thank you, Vanessa. Now, Jorge, read the answers, I mean, the questions, and William is going to answer them. Okay. Hello, William. Are you there? Yes. Okay. How many dogs do you see in the street today? Dog. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. How many? Yeah. Dog, 
do you see in the street today? All right, dogs with plural, right, Jorge? Dogs. ¿Cuántos perros? How many dogs? Yes, dogs, dogs. Good. Mm, I, I see a big dog. A dogs big dog? In the street. Ah, okay. All right. One Thank big you. dog in the street. Second question. Second question. How much meal do how, how much meal do you day five in one day? Um, repeat the question. How because, much? Because how it, much? Seems, it seems to me that, that, that is countable. Uh -huh. How much? Okay. How much meal? Ah, milk. Do, milk. 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 Uh -huh. okay. How much milk do they buy in one day? Okay, very good. Okay. I. They. Ellos. They. Okay. They buy. Mm -hmm. uh, one gallon. One gallon, uh huh. Gallon. Okay, of milk. Of milk. Okay, very good. Okay. Thank you, William. Thank you. Okay. Good, Jorge. Now, William, read the questions and uh, <clears throat> I'm just gonna see, let's see who else. Who's there, who's there? I mean, these people got the cameras off. Uh, Rosa is going to answer them. Are you there, Rosa? Rosa, Rosa, are you there? Yes, I'm there. Nah, okay, cool. Go on. Go on, William. Read the questions and Rosa, uh, uh, read the answer. Okay. Um, en la primera quería saber cómo era, pero lo voy a decir. Okay. Omani, uh -huh. Omani restaurant that had in their city. Is uh, okay. covered or... All right. How many restaurants? That... Restaurants con S. Yes. Restaurant uh -huh. that that had there in the city. Es como cuántos restaurantes hay en la ciudad? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Ah, entonces en, entonces ahí so sería. Much. No, no, no. Está bien el con how many porque es countable. Estamos hablando de los uh -huh. restaurantes. En este caso, solo que la estructura sería how many restaurants are there? Are uh -huh. there? Ah, de haber hay. Are there. are there. Ahí no llevaría das, porque lleva el verbo to be. La voy a poner acá, like, like just, just for you to, to check it. Check this out. How many restaurants are there in the city? All right? This is the question. Okay. ¿Cuántos restaurantes hay en la ciudad? How many restaurants are there in the city? Ok. Rosa. Ay, Dios. Depende de qué ciudad porque aquí hay bastante. Ok, take it from the city that you live. All right. Only from the city that you live. Ok, let's go. I have... No. Yeah. No, there are, there are there are a lot of restaurants in the city. Okay, all right. When you don't want to specify the number, you can say that way, all right? There are a lot of restaurants in the city. Okay, good. William, second question. Okay. How much how much sat do you need? Okay. Repeat, please. How much sat do you need? Sat. Sat. Isn't it sat? Yo le escuché que dijo sat. No sé si me equivoqué. Yes. 
Sabe, sabe? Sabe. I need... Sabe. Uhum. I need... Uh -huh. Onde for? Onde for? Ah, I need... How do you say poco? I... I forget I... it. I, I, okay. All right. I need. I need. Okay. A little bit of salt. I need a little bit of salt. A little yeah. salt. Huh? Salt. Of salt. Okay. Very good, Rosa. Now, uh, let's see. Okay. Come on, people. Let me check. Who else has not answered? Because in this situation I cannot see who's participating and who's not. So let's see if Romeo uh, Romeo has already participated. Romeo, did you participate already? Because I don't remember you were participating. No. All right. Okay, Rosa. Uh, read the questions and Romeo answered. Okay. How many books do you have? Uh, I have... A three book. Three books. Okay. Okay. And how much sun have in the beach? Are there in the beach? Are there in the beach? I mean, okay. Anna, but in this case, since it is since it is uncountable, is there in the beach? Okay. Mm -hmm. How many seria? Um, how many sen? How many sen have? Is there? In, is there in the beach? Mm -hmm. Okay. Me pregunto cuántas veces he ido a la playa, algo así. ¿Cuántas sal hay en la playa? Ah. No que no es arena, sand. A mí ya. O no sé si la, pro, yeah. la pronuncia mal. Sand. Yeah, that's true. Sand, arena. Uh, right, Romeo. Was it the correct pronunciation? Sand. Sand. Sand, yes. S A N D. Sand. Okay. Romeo. ¿Cómo sería mucha arena? A lot of sand. Ah, okay. A lot of sand. Uh, yes, but, pero, va, comencemos. <laughs> there is a there lot, is? A lot of sand. sand. Oh, okay. Okay. It's like hay muchísimo, mucha arena. Okay. That is pretty different. Okay. Let's let's see. <laughs> Since I, I I I watch just few people with the cameras on, and I don't know who else is is not participating like right now. We're gonna continue with the next uh, topic, okay? I'm gonna let it here, I'm gonna stop in here. At least the participation from here uh, in order to move. Okay, now let's take aside the uses of uh, uh, countable and uncountable now and let's focus on have to and has to. Okay, lo vamos a ver de una manera un tanto general. Like the most important things, just for you to remember, okay? What do we use have to for? Remember, we use have to for obligations or when we show obligation about something, okay? In that case, we use have to or has to, all right? So, and we got an example in here. Uh, let's help yeah, me yeah, out. Ese es un mensaje subliminal. <laughs> Why? Ah, no, I don't sense... Uh, you know, like two-faced uh, messages. I'm not that type of person. I'm not that type of teacher. <laughs> nah, I'm not say ese tipo de teachers. No, I mean, I have some clear, clear, very clear. <laughs> right, Anna? Anna, read the, 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 the example. I had to do the homework. I have to do the homework. So, ¿qué estamos denotando ahí? Obligation, right? 
Ahí estamos denotando obligación. Obligation okay. tonight. Ah, yes, by the way. Who hasn't finished the homework? ¿Quiénes no han terminado las tareas? Espero que todos las hayan terminado. Because. Me, 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 me. Not... Me, what? You finished? George, George, no. I'm ah. not finished. Okay, mister. I, I'm, I'm waiting for you right after the class, okay? Okay, no problem. For you to finish. Yes. Okay, good. Second example. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see who can help me out. Diana. Yes. Let's read. Let's read the example, please. You have to work eight hours. Ah, okay, good. You have to work eight hours. So if you take a look, the structure that we're using is have to. Why? Because in that case, the sentence is in or is talking about a second person. You have to work eight hours. Now let's use third person. What happened with third person? We changed from have to to has to. And Sara is going to read the example. Um, she has to send the bags. Pack packages. Pa packages. Ah, okay, thank you. All right, she has to send the packages. Take a look at that. Recuerden en tercera persona cambia de have to a has to. And when, when uh, are we talking about third person? When we use he, she, it, or singular nouns. Another example, uh, Carlos, let's read. Good evening. Good evening, Carlos. He has to write a report. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Right. He has to write a report. What happened here? We got a singular uh, pronoun in this case, he. That's why we got has to. And then right after has to, but it goes. It goes the verb in base form. Entonces, después del, uh, del has to, en este caso va el verbo en forma base, right? En este caso sería right. Okay, let's continue with the examples. And for this one, I want, uh, let's see, Stephanie Rutia to help me out reading. Okay, they have to go to the supermarket. Okay, very good. They have to go to the supermarket, right? So they are in an obligation or they are obligated to go to the supermarket. So that's, that's something Remember to show obligation, all right? When we use have to. And depending on the action, that is the verb that we are going to be talking about. Okay, cool. Any question with this? Hasta acá tenemos alguna pregunta con relación a esta estructura del have to and has to? No? No, okay, cool. Creo que no. Porque luego haremos una tarea. Have to using negatives. What happened here? Remember, with negatives, we include an auxiliary verb. And what is the auxiliary verb that we need? We need don't. Do plus not when it is first person, second person, and plurals. And doesn't when it is third person or singular. All right? When we use he, she, it, or singular nouns. So let's read. Romeo, tell me a reading. I don't have to do the dishes. Okay, good. I don't have to do the dishes. What happened in that case? In este caso, no estamos denotando ningún tipo de obligación. Okay, it's like, como, no tienes que lavar los platos. All right? You don't have to do the dishes. That is something that you're not showing obligation in there. So next example. Um, <laughs> Ruth, are you there? You don't have to wear a uniform. Okay, very good. 
you don't have to wear a uniform, right? Como, no tienes que usar un uniforme. Next example. Uh, Vanessa. She doesn't have to play the guitar. Ah, okay, good. What happened in third person? Ya en tercera persona, recordemos, the don't pasa a ser doesn't. Le agregamos es a do. Okay? So she doesn't have to play the guitar. ¿Y por qué el verbo have lo tengo así y no has to? Porque de manera sencilla lo podemos decir que el auxiliar, que en este caso es doesn't, está haciendo la acción de la tercera persona o está siendo modificado, ok, de tal manera que la estructura de have to no va a pasar a ser has to. Ok, next example. Hilmar, help me a reading. Ok, he doesn't have to study math. Ah, ok, very good. He doesn't have to study math. It's likely similar to the one before, right? Es similar a la otra, ¿ok? A la anterior. He doesn't have to study math. Like, él no tiene que estudiar matemáticas. All right, and let's do the last one, Nubia. They don't have to drive a car. Ah, ok, very good. They don't have to drive a car. Good, people. Just give me a second, okay? I'm going to pass the, attack, the second attendance list, and then we're going to continue. Permítanme un segundo. Vamos a pasar asistencia, y luego vamos a continuar. I'm going to stop sharing for a moment. I'm going to stop sharing, and then I'm going to put it again, okay? Let me just pass the attendance list for the second time. Ana Claribel. Present. Good. Ana María. Uh, Ana María is not here. Uh, Carlos Ademir. Present teacher. Ok, perfect. Eric Guillermo. Present teacher. Uh, sorry, sigo en llamada, teacher. Ok, good. Uh, Ever de Jesús. Present. Ok, nice. Fátima Alejandra. Present. Ah, ok, good. Lomar Cruz. Present. Ok, Jonathan Alexander is not here. Jorge Elvir. Present. Ok, perfect. Ah, Carla Benacer. Present, teacher. Ok, Margot Hernández. All right, he's not here. Maritza Alcira. Maritza Alcira, are you there? Hello. Okay, I think she's not there. Romeo Alexis. Present. Okay, let's check. Natalie is not here. Ah, Rosa del Carmen. Present. No, okay, good. Ruth Joanna. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Sara Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Uh, Stephanie Lisset. Stephanie Lisset. Present. Okay, okay good. Uh, Vanessa Odette. Present. Okay, perfect. William Alberto. Present. Okay, Present. William. All right. Thank you, William. Uh, Roxana Yesenia. Present. Okay, very good. Novia Zulema. Present teacher. Okay, good. 
Uh, Jennifer Noemi. Present. Okay, good. And the last one, Diana Gabriela. Present. No, okay. Nice. Let's continue with, with this, okay? We were in have to using positive and negative statements, okay? I think we're not going to have that much problem in here because it's something that we have been practicing, right? Es algo que hemos estado practicando anteriormente, así que considero que no vamos a tener mucho, mucho problema en cuanto al desarrollo de oraciones, okay? Like affirmative statements and negative statements. Okay, uh, any question with this structure? ¿Alguna duda, alguna pregunta con esta estructura? Something that might not be clear for you? Algo que no esté todo claro? Okay. That goes for, for, for the people who got the camera on and for the people who got the camera off. For both people. Okay, cool. Okay, I guess everybody is on the same path. So let's continue. Now, have to in question. Ahora bien, vamos a, a retroalimentar have to en el uso de preguntas. Okay, and let's start with the first question. William, help me out reading, please. Okay. What time do you have to go to work? Now, okay, thank you, William. Roxana, help me out with the answer. I have to go to work at 86 a.m. At 7 a.m. <laughs> at 7 a.m. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> what were you reading? <laughs> okay, thank you, Roxana. Diana, help me reading the, the second question. Where does she have to send packages? Okay, where does she have to send the package? Okay. Uh, the package. package. Now, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh, now let's see who can help me out with that. Carla. Help me out reading, Carla, this question. I mean, the answer. She has to send the package to San Miguel. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carla. She has to send the package to San Miguel, right? That's a location. Recordemos que cuando usamos where, estamos hablando de una, ¿qué? De una locación, right? Location. All right, so this is pretty much what we got with this type of structure. So esto es parte de lo que tenemos entonces con el uso de esta estructura en preguntas. With yes, no questions, and also with answers in you know, like not that specific information or general information. Okay, I guess I can continue. Now let's see Ken. Vamos a ver los, uh, los demás que faltan así de una, una manera un tanto uh, uh, resumida. Let's use Ken now. Cuando usamos Ken, remember to talk about Possibilities and, and also abilities, okay? And also to talk about information things. Example. Let me see who can help me reading. Ooh, 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 someone that has not participated. Okay, I... I Anna, I am in Anna. I was looking for Anna. Anna, can you help me out reading, please? Can I play the piano? Okay, can I play the piano? Hmm, Romeo. No, you can. You can play the piano. Okay, thank you, Romeo. No, you can't, right? 
You can't play the piano. That's a yes, no question. Recordemos que toda pregunta que dice con quién es uh, una yes, no question. Se conocemos como yes, no question. ¿Por qué? Porque solo tenemos esas dos formas de poder contestar a ese tipo de pregunta o a esa estructura. Right? Yes, I can. I can, you know, like, like play the rest, like, for example, play the piano, o yes, I can, the uh, can play the piano, okay? If it is positive. Now, the second question. Vanessa. Can you play soccer? Ah, okay, good. Fatima. Yes, I can. I can play soccer. Okay, very good. That is a positive, right? A positive action. Okay. Very good. So let's continue with this. And I want Ever to help me on reading the question. Where can she store the product? Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Sara, let's read the answer, Sara. She can store the products in the warehouse. In the warehouse. Now, okay, very good. What is warehouse? Okay, it's warehouse okay. people. Bodega, yes, very good, right? Warehouse means bodega. Uh, bodega. Uh, I don't know if you're taking notes about that or can I move on? Can I move on? Yes, yes, okay. Yes, yes, okay. Yes, yes, este vocabulario lo vamos a necesitar eh, después. Why? Porque creo que um, vamos a hacer práctica con esto. Our questions with this vocabulary. Solo que lo vamos a hacer en grupo. As we were working yesterday. But like right now, just copy this, this, this one because you're going to need it. Quiero que lo copien y lo tengan ahí. Luego vamos a hacer una actividad con este vocabulario. Let's copy them in there, okay? Copia en su cuaderno y luego lo vamos a necesitar. Let me know when you finish. So I can move on. Así podemos avanzar. Finish. Okay, very good, Rosana. Finish, teacher. Okay, nice. I guess everybody finished, so let's move on. Finish, finish. Now, okay, very good. So now, the structure using be going to, the one that we were practicing yesterday. Let's, let's give a short review. Okay, remember, be going to is mostly used to create, okay, listen up to create or to talk about actions in the future, okay? Remember that be going to is used to talk about the future, okay? Or future actions. For example, Jorge, help me out reading. I am going to go. Uh -huh. to the meeting next week. Okay, very good. I am going to go to the meeting next week, right? Like, iré a la reunión la próxima semana. Second example, Eric. Still busy, Eric? Okay, no, teacher, es que aquí mi hija estaba haciendo una cuestión, entonces una gran bulla, por eso le dije que le bajara. 
Uh, you are going to send the resume tonight. Okay, you're going to send the resume tonight. Okay, thank you, Eric. Uh -huh. Carlos, help me reading this answer. I mean, answer uh, this sentence. I'm talking about the questions already. He is not. He is not going to work next month. Ah, okay. What happened here? Check this out. Acá ya tenemos una oración usando be going to en negativo. ¿Y qué es lo único que hacemos? Colocar not. ¿Dónde lo hacemos? Entre el verbo to be, ¿ok? Y el going to. ¿Ok? That's the position, right? Between be and going to. Esa es la posición que lleva eh, la negación, que en este caso sería la palabra not. ¿Ok? I am not going to go. ¿Ok? To the beach this year. So I'll take a look at that example. Right? Then we get an extra example. Yes, we got it right. And I want Hilmar to help me out with this. She is not going to send a text message. Let me check what did I I'm pressing here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, mister. He is not going to send a text message, right? So in that case, we'd like that is she. So remember, what do I have here? I got positive statements and I got negative statements. Both of them in the same, uh, in the same uh, slide, okay? Or in the same um, projections. I don't know if you're still taking notes about it, no sé si todavía están tomando notas o puedo avanzar. Are you taking notes? No, okay. I guess you don't. Okay, let's move on. Be going to with information questions. I think this is part of the last thing that we're going to be doing. What happened with the information question? Remember, we can use what, what time, where, when, okay, why, whether uh, any question. Like this example over here. Uh, and I want someone that has not participated. Maritza, are you there? Maritza? Okay, I think she's not there. Okay, uh, Stephanie, help me out reading the question, please. What time are you going to listen the WhatsApp audio? To the WhatsApp audio. Okay, thank you, uh, uh, Stephanie. Now, let's see. Right, Jennifer is easy. Let's ask Rosa to help us out. Rosa, can you read the answer? I am going to listen to the WhatsApp audio at 3 p.m. Okay, at 3 p.m. So I am going to listen to the WhatsApp audio at 3 p.m. What is that? It is an action that is not being done, okay, at the moment of speaking. That is a future action. Entonces, acá estamos hablando de una acción que va a suceder, okay, in when a specific part of the day. And what is what is the specific part? The hour, in this case, 3 p.m. Then we got the second question. And for the second question, I want... Jennifer is not here. Diana, Diana, help me out. Present teacher. Here is it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I have an, a new student. When is he going to buy a new truck? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Gwen, is he going to buy a new truck? Okay, very good. Then we got the answer in here. And I want Vanessa to help me out with that. 
he is going to buy a, ne a new truck next month. Okay, very good. He is going to buy a new truck next month. Entonces ahí podemos usar time expressions como next month para referirnos a un futuro un tanto más específicos en cuanto a tiempo. Ok. Él comprará un nuevo camión el próximo mes. So you see, in that case, we get a next specific date. Good. I'm not gonna stop, uh, I'm not gonna stay in here for a long time as I told you. No nos vamos a quedar acá por mucho tiempo como les había mencionado antes, así que avancemos. Now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna work in the manuals. Ahora nos vamos a ir a trabajar al manual. Okay. Why to the manual? Because now we have we have been practicing Ok, like the main structure. Ahora que ya tenemos practicadas las estructuras principales, what are we going to do? Huh, easy. We are going to start developing the activities that we got in the pages to complete with this. Let me check. Now, this is the previous topic in a second. I'm going to put the ones that are in here. Countable versus uncountable. Yeah, I mean, let's put it like right up from here. Okay. Listen, people. Listen to the indication that we're going to be giving. Para dar esta indicación y para ponernos a trabajar, eh, necesito saber si, o que me confirmen más bien, eh, en especial las personas que tienen la cámara apagada, porque no sé si realmente están ahí o, o si están o no están. Necesito que me confirmen si están ahí. ¿Ok? I am here, teacher. Ok, But cool. I work. Sorry. Ok, all right, cool. How about, ok, Jennifer is there. Ajá. Ana Garcia, are you there? Yeah, right. Maritza yes, Alcira. Teacher. Okay, Maritza, are you there? Maritza Alcira. Right. Stephanie? Holly. No, okay, good. Ruth? Hi, teacher. Ah, okay. You are there. So I, I think just Maritza. Uh, is the one that is that is that is not there. Okay, good. What are we gonna do? Listen, los voy a mandar a trabajar como estuvimos trabajando ayer en grupos de tres. And what are we gonna do? Quiero que nos enfoquemos en esta parte. Okay, from what page? We're gonna go straight to the page 18. Forget about 17 because it's just about general information. Let's go straight to here. So we got in here countable uh, versus uncountable nouns. ¿Qué vamos a hacer acá? Dice, write a question to match each answer. Acá lo que tenemos es una serie de respuestas a las cuales nosotros le vamos a hacer una pregunta. Ok. There are five of them in here. La número uno dice, por ejemplo, I have 50 boxes of thread. Ok. Now, now people, what are we going to do with this thing? Give me a second. Okay, there you go. Yeah, people that are not connected. Okay, lo que vamos a hacer acá es escribir una pregunta para estas respuestas. Si dice acá, I have 50 boxes of thread how is the question with how much or how many how many how many aha ok comenzaríamos how many how many what boxes boxes ah, ok how many boxes of thread do you have mm -hmm. ok give me a second I'm gonna put it in here How much? 
All right. How many boxes of thread do you have? Have, okay, yes, and I got it here. Check that out. How many boxes of thread do you have? Okay. Quantas cajas de hilo tienes? Okay, there you go. So I have 50 boxes of thread. You see, you got the answer over there. Entonces, ahí ya tenemos la respuesta. Y también la pregunta que acabamos de hacer. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer con ello? Pues vamos a ir a trabajar en los breakout rooms y vamos a desarrollar la pregunta, las, I mean, las preguntas que faltan para estas respuestas. Ok. Nomás hayamos terminado esta parte. Ok. This part, I want you to go down. Quiero que nos vayamos a la siguiente parte. Ok. Más abajito. ¿Qué aparece más abajo? Los, use, los uses de have to and has to. ¿Ok? And what are we going to do with that? ¿Qué vamos a hacer con ello? Easy. Look. Acá, acá, como vamos a estar trabajando, listen, como vamos a estar trabajando en grupos, acá lo que vamos a hacer es que me van a Escribir el nombre de un compañero. Supongamos que Diana, Jennifer y Vanessa están trabajando las tres juntas. All right. Acá, ustedes, en el, en el caso de Vanessa, acá Vanessa puede escribir el nombre de Jennifer y acá abajo el nombre de Diana. Ok. ¿Qué va a hacer acá? Acá, en, la, en, la, en, la, en el cuadrito, en el recuadro acá de Have to, Ok, Vanessa va a escribir las actividades que Jennifer está obligada a hacer. Ok, ¿cómo así? ¿Cómo vamos a identificar esa información? Asking, preguntando, right? Preguntando sobre ella. ¿Cómo así? Jennifer le va a relatar. Example, I have to clean my bedroom. Si Jennifer dice, tengo que limpiar mi Cuarto, I have to clean my bedroom. ¿Cómo Vanessa va a colocar acá? Easy. Lo va a colocar en tercera persona. Va a colocar, she has to clean her bedroom. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué she? Ah, porque estamos hablando de Jennifer. ¿Ok? And this is an obligation that Jennifer has to do. Y esta básicamente es una obligación que Jennifer tiene que hacer. Okay? Something that she has, that she is obligated to do. Okay? Ahora bien, acá solamente vamos a poner dos, dos actividades, okay, que en este caso su compañero o su compañera están obligados a hacer. Acá, dos ejemplos de dos oraciones en las cuales su compañero no está obligado a hacer, usando el don't have to. Example, Jennifer doesn't have to take a shower. It's an example, right? An example. Used to say water, like, para ahorrar agua. No, okay. So, que in that case... Que se bañen los sucios, teacher. ¿Ah? Que se bañen los sucios. Yes, that's true. Así se habla, okay? Good. So, in that case, acá sobre dos actividades las cuales no está obligada a hacer. Igual acá. Entonces, termina con Jennifer. Y acá en el siguiente recuadro, Vanessa comienza con la otra persona. Lo mismo. Entonces, luego Jennifer puede llenar el recuadro de la persona. Ok. En este caso, a su modo de ejemplo, Vanessa. Ok. Y luego el de la otra persona. Y así viceversa. Ok. That's what you are going to do here. Okay? Entonces, eso es lo que vamos a estar haciendo. Any question? ¿Todo está claro? ¿Alguna pregunta? Yeah, I mean, this is from you need to. Okay, if you don't have any question, let's go to work. Recuerden. 
primero esta parte, ¿ok? Luego la otra parte que tenemos ahí. And then we're going to like start with another thing. Ok, I'm going to stop sharing here. Bien, voy a dejar de compartir un momento. Give me a second. Y voy a preparar los grupos. Give me a second. I got 20 people. Ok. Ok. With three people each group. Ok. Good. What are we going to do right now? Todos los grupos han quedado de tres. Así que vamos a trabajar. Let's go to work. Cualquier duda que puedan tener, ahí tienen el botón de Ask for Help, que me pueden mandar una notificación directamente si tienen alguna duda. Ok. Let's go to work in that part from the manual, people. Let's accept it. Jorge, ¿le mal aceptar? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, let's go to work. Eh? Rosa, are you there? Ah, oh, yeah, ya se metió. Marisa. Maritza, are you there? If you can listen to me, si me puede escuchar, por favor, habría que entrar a la sección de, del breakout room para poder trabajar. Uh, maybe, maybe us explain me. <laughs> Que dice que él ya, ya fue a la departamental y que no le resuelve nada. Así que los niños... Ok, Jorge. En activity number one, is a problem. De... De ok. Ok. I see uh, five questions. Es correcto. Yes. Okay. They have some flowers cleaners. 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 They, they have some flowers. Some flower cleaner. Okay. The number one, uh, the teacher say how many boxes of there do you have? For example. Yes. Yes, I was so kind to you and I gave it to you. <laughs> With hey, hello, teacher. With tan amable. Y se las, y se las, y se las regalé. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for the gift. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or, okay. And uh, this part, uh, one question, teacher. Uh -huh. You tell me um, in the start of the class, say the, I am state the, to, tomorrow today today with you uh -huh. in the 10 minutes no give me a second i'm gonna check i'm gonna check okay. right now when i'm gonna stay uh you're mm -hmm. gonna stay with me okay those 10 minutes in the meantime remember in here what you're gonna start writing down is like our questions with how often and how many right I mean, how much and how many okay yeah I not time this week for the finish the, number, the, the work. <laughs> number two is how much? How much? And number two? Yes. How much they have some fruit? Now, fruit. listen, 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 listen. What you have to look for is if the noun is countable or uncountable. Esa es la clave. Tienen que identificar si el nombre es contable o incontable. Okay. Si es incontable o algo que no podemos contar, entonces es how much. Si es contable, how many. Floor cleaners okay. son como aspiradoras o algo así. Maybe. Floor cleaners? No. O floor, trapeadores. Floor, uh, floor cleaners son, son personas, los, los que limpian. Floor cleaners. Ah. People. Floor cleaners. 
Mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay. Uh, maybe it's. Ahí lo podemos interpretar con web people o también como aparatos, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, maybe a countable. Yes, so many. Yes, yes. ¿Por qué? Yeah. Porque si ven, eh, dice floor cleaners. Es plural, ahí lo tienen en plural. Ok, entonces es algo que podamos contar. Recordemos que las cosas incontables no las podemos colocar en plural. Las sí, sí, es una de las claves. La está desaparecida. Ok. Está vieja. Ok. How many? How many? Más que hasta uno está en ridículo y anda con paro que ella feliz. Your born is going to be next oh, Tuesday. Sería, será yeah. el martes 28. Ok, yes. your turn. Ok, ok, thank you, perfect. Ok. Let's continue then, ok. Luego vengo a revisar cómo vamos, ok. I'm going to check the other groups. Y no saben nada de eso. Hello, everybody. How are you here? How are you going? Hello. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Dónde está Diana? Aquí estoy, teacher. Ah, ok. Es que tengo que salirme para ver. <laughs> ah, ok. Ok, Diana. Creí que no estaba. ¿Cómo no? Aquí estoy. Ah, ok. Good. Present, teacher. Hija. Present, present. ¿Cómo se llama la niña? <ríe> Francela. Ok, present Francela. <ríe> Ahí está, mire, haciendo Ajá. tareas. Where? Ahí está. <ríe> ah, hi, Francela. Hola, diga. I know. I don't know. <ríe> <ríe> ok. <ríe> Solo diga, I don't know that I know a lot. Bye, oí. I know. <laughs> ok, ¿cómo vamos acá? ¿Todo bien? Yes. ¿No questions? No. Ok, good. So I'm going to check another group. And let's 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 try to to you know like participate each other in this in these activities, okay? What? Number. Limpiadores. Ah, limpiadores. Limpiadores. Exactly. That's what it is. Yeah. How many floor cleaners do you have? Some. They have. No, sería they. They have, nada más. Uh -huh. How many floors clean it? They have. No. Nope. Don't. Sí. Recuerden que necesitan un verbo auxiliar. ¿Dónde lo ponen? No lo han mencionado. ¿Cuál es el verbo auxiliar que use en la oración, en la pregunta, perdón, número uno, en la que hicimos. Do. Do. Do, si es primera persona, si es plural, das, si es tercera persona. Das. Ajá, ¿cómo sería entonces? How many, um, how many das, das, ¿verdad? No. no. How many floor cleaners? Mm -hmm. Does no, no. do revisemos do? do? Uh -huh. Is they, do they do they do they <laughs> do they have yes very good how many okay listen up how mm -hmm. many uh -huh, floor cleaners do they have they have uh -huh. yes muy bien okay let's do the other ones 
Bien, mm -hmm. siguiendo ese mismo patrón, sigan con las demás. Solo revisemos si es singular, o, si, o sea, si va he o she o it, entonces sería das. das. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank, you, that. No okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. All right. Ajá. Uh -huh. Así es. Así sería. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, vamos a ver. El tres. Permítame. Oh, ya voy a apuntar yo aquí la mía. Pero... Mm. Vamos a ver. How much? How much? Lord. Cleaners, do you have? Uh, uh, no, in this este case, how much floor cleaners? Repeat the, repeat the question, Eric. Uh, how much? How much? Okay, floor, floor cleaners. Listen, limpia, limpia floor, piso. floor cleaners. Ah, ¿y podemos contarlos o no? Ah, no, es cierto. ¿Podemos? How many floor cleaners? Exactly, es algo que podemos contar, entonces lo vamos a usar con how many, remember that. Ok, pero... Este... Ok, ahora que ya tenemos el inicio de la pregunta, how many uh -huh. floor cleaners que sigue luego de eso el ah, en este caso uh -huh. necesitamos sí. un auxiliar cuál es el auxiliar que yo puse en la pregunta 1 que hicimos el que puso usted fue do you have ah do. entonces es do ah okay. es do esa es la do. que usted va a colocar ahí They have... Good. ¿Cuándo va a cambiar de do a das cuando estemos hablando de una tercera persona? O sea, he, she, o it, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Ahora necesito el subject. Now you need the subject. What is the subject? They. Yes. And now you need the verb. What is the verb? Have. Yes. Ok. Ok, entonces la, la pregunta quedaría, how many flowers clean do they have? Floor cleaners. Uh -huh, floor cleaners. Do, do they have? Yes, do they have? They uh -huh. have, right, some floor cleaners. Good. Siguiendo ese mismo patrón, uh, hagamos las demás, ok? Ok, teacher. Pero, ajá, galones de gas. Mm. Okay. Ya, yeah, eh, yeah. es lo primero que tenemos que identificar. Si el nombre es contable o incontable, right? If it is countable mm. or not. It's, it's count, countable. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok, vaya, entonces sería how much. Oh. How much. Eh, Gallons of gas for the leaf el, el auxiliar sería aquí. ¿Cuál creen ustedes? Hey, by the way, Ruth is there. ¿Ah? Is Ruth there? Sí. 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 Creo. Sí, pero está, está algo enferma, teacher. Ah, yeah, I mean, she told me that she's sick. Mm -hmm. Sí. She's just yeah. medicine right now. Sí, teacher. He estado más dormida que despierta en la clase, la verdad. Oh, pero... He estado mal. mal. Ah, pero he estado con med medicamento. Sí, sí, he estado tomando medicina, pero no he podido ir al seguro porque por los síntomas que tengo, lo más probable es que me digan que tengo COVID, aunque no tenga COVID. Que solo es gripe y fiebre. Um, pero como hoy todo esto le ponen que es COVID. 
<ríe> Eso es cierto. Yeah, that's Ajá, entonces he estado así tomando ibuprofeno, cetaminofén, pero yeah, veo yeah. la luz al final del túnel y me quedo en la oscuridad mejor. <ríe> no, but, pero primero Dios mañana amanecerá mejor. Yo sí. Ay, sí, yo llevo dos días así. Mm. That's difficult. Sí. Yeah, okay. Good. So let's continue with that, people. Okay. And Eric, it's not. Uh, Just to show. Remember, with things that we can count, we don't use how much. We use how many. Uh, sorry, perdón. Ah, uh, es que usted había mencionado que en la, en, la, en la otra decía que era countable, pero me estaba haciendo la pregunta con how much. So. Uh -huh. How many? Sorry, teacher, que ahorita me he quedado un poco. Sí, recibí una noticia y les estaba contando a mis compañeros. Oh. Y una, una mala noticia, una pésima noticia y de un amigo, 18 años de conocerlo y después de la vacuna le, le ha dado Guillén Barré. What? Y sí, esa fue la llamada que me cayó, entonces. Pues... Me he quedado ahorita, pero bien impactado, Ticho. Ay, no, sí, eso sí son, sí son mm. noticias que sorprenden bastante. Sí, Gorey. increíble, créeme. Entonces, ahorita ando así, algo perdidito. Ah, me siento, yeah. me siento más, más perdido de lo normal. No, no, no. I'm sorry about your friends, but, all right, let's try to continue, okay? Caleb. Thank you, Ticho. No, okay. Okay, how many gallons of gas for the lift do he needs? Aquí tengo dudas con el auxiliar. Porque la respuesta dice he needs two gallons of gas for the lift. No, ese es el, el contexto. Bicycle. Six bicycle. Mm -hmm. Bicicleta. Has to fix the bicycle. Yes. William has well. to fix the bicycle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> William <laughs> has to fix his or him bicycle. Him bicycle or him. Hey, 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 what type of uh, uh, sentence is that ever? He has to fix his bicycle. Bicycle, man. <laughs> Bicycle. Uh, <laughs> this is Spanish. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is Spanish. Se atraviesan los idiomas. También con el ruso me pasa, pero. <laughs> okay, William has to fix him bicycle. His bicycle, uh huh. His and doesn't, bicycle. And, do, yeah. and do, doesn't have. His. Yeah, his. <laughs> Perdón, básico y bicicleta en inglés. Es, es, William has to fix him bicycle. Nah. Or not. Or William has to fix him. William has to fix his. I send it to the chat. I send it to the chat so you can check. William has to fix his. Fix him. Bicycle. His. His, his, su de él, su bicicleta, his bicycle, bicycle, okay. his, his bicycle, that's the way, bicycle, okay, nice, okay, when I, the second part, what is the one thing what doesn't have two? Well, I don't have to to go to the your your dogs or I don't know. Uh, go go to the work. As as then as then delete the the text. Amazing. Message doesn't have to. Send. Send. 
Send the gift message. ¿Qué come teacher in the nota? No. I'm eating something that. Nota? I'm eating something that my grandma did, uh, 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 like, like, like cooked or something like that. <laughs> like a fret. The thing is that I, I didn't have dinner. So that's why I'm like, like, like getting some piece of food. This. Como se dice provecho en inglés? Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Yes. Enjoy it, teacher. So thank you. Okay, my car. In my case, I have to do the homework. <laughs> yes. Ever yeah. has to to do? Uh huh. The homework. The homework. Okay, very good. Sería in ever has to do his homework. Uh huh. His homework. Or the homework también. Uh -huh, it's possible. Okay. And don't have, doesn't have ever. And I, I don't have to go to work tomorrow. And they ah. ah, okay. And I, have, I don't have to go to work tomorrow. Now, okay. third person ever ever doesn't have to go to work mm -hmm. tomorrow. Tiene que trabajar. <laughs> Quiero un trabajo así, pero no tengo que ir por dos. <laughs> no, no porque <laughs> tiene, no porque tiene que trabajar domingos. Sábados en la tarde. Entonces. Ah, but, but you're saying that it's not an obligation to go tomorrow. No, it's my day off. Ah. For the, for the, for the week. Ah. ah. Next, nah, next that's, that's to, why. To the ah. Yes. That's why, that's why. Okay, so forget about what we said. Entonces olvide lo que dijo Jennifer y dije. <laughs> Estamos felices entonces. Nosotros. Yes, very happy. <laughs> okay, let's keep going, people, okay? I'm going to give you like three or four more minutes, and then we're going to finish this part, okay? And let's go back to the main section. Okay, okay teacher. Okay. Thank you. Good. I'm going to check another group and see okay. what happens. have to wash the dishes. Oh, okay. Listen, listen, listen. Hello. Hello. What's up? I don't need to see you. Hey, what happened? I don't see you. A mí no me va a poder ver. Ajá, ah, no, ahora sí, ahora sí. Ya vi la screen. Es que estaba todo en negro. <risa> no don't no why. Pero ahora sí. Ok, ¿cómo vamos acá? Eh, ¿Ya están en la segunda actividad? Yes. Yeah. Ok, nice. Recuerden, acá, en este caso, eh, Rosa, usted nada más tendría el nombre de, de Romeo. Y Romeo tendría el suyo. Luego, en las, um... actividades, en las actividades de Have To... Romeo le puede decir, por ejemplo, I have to work tomorrow. Tengo que trabajar mañana. Usted, Rosa, le pondría. He has, He has to work tomorrow. Uh -huh. Luego, okay. en una, eh, serían dos por cada una. Dos con have to, dos con don't have to. Don't have to, remember, are activities that you, listen up, that you are not obligated to do. Son actividades que no está obligada a hacer. Example. I don't have to send text Wait. messages. Okay, es como no tengo que en, eh, eh, enviar en mensajes de texto. So you see? Yes. 
Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces le pondría, he doesn't have to send text messages. Uh -huh. Yes. Una consulta de teacher. Ajá, uh -huh, tell me. Eh, ¿Cómo sería? Ella no... ¿Qué va? Sí, ella no tiene la obligación de bañar al perro. She doesn't have to bath the dog. The dog. Ah, ok. Bad day dog. Ahí se lo acaba de mandar al chat. Pero recuerde, Romeo, ella tiene que mencionarle las cosas o las actividades que ella no está obligada a hacer. Ok. Mm -hmm. Y luego usted las va a transformar en tercera persona para escribirlas. Ah, ok. okay. Good. Nah. All right. I'm going to check another group then. Ok. Number seven. Hola, teacher. Hi. Hi. Este, uh, no podía, nice. No podía, si nos hemos equivocado o algo. Ah, uh -huh. Vamos a ver. How many mistakes do you have? No, 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 no. Tenemos una en eso, en los do. Que si lo lleva y que se va y si va ahí. Uy, teacher, mucho silencio. How many gallons of gas for the lift does he need? Uh -huh. How many packs of butters bars? We went. How much butter? Butter bars. How much butter? Do Anna and Hugo need? So those are like the main ones that you've got problems with right now. Look, in here, si dice floor cleaners, ¿a qué se está refiriendo? Limpiador de pisos. ¿Ah? Limpiador de piso. Ah, es singular o plural. Está hablando de los limpiadores. Plural, right? Ajá. Ahora bien, countable or uncountable? Eh. Una respuesta es... No, en la pregunta, en la pregunta. ¿Contable o no contable la pregunta? Ah, ahorita es no con la, con la palabra floor cleaners. ¿Podemos contar los floor cleaners? Sí. Ah, Pero, y, y la si las... Es que algunos, no da un número. Y si podemos contar los floor cleaners... How many? Ajá, entonces no tendríamos que tener how much, sería how many. Muy okay. bien. Yes, how many. Oh my God, oh no. Okay. Por, el, 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 por la respuesta que dice alguno, o sea, no da un número exacto. Ajá, no, pero en este caso, pero en este caso es así, mister. Ok. ¿Y dónde estaba Ana? Where was Ana? Who are you working with? En este caso, ustedes estaban trabajando con, con alguien más? ¿O you just two? Solo nosotros dos. No, ok. Only. Mm -hmm. Room two. Let's put it in room three. ¿Le muestra la otra parte? No, ok. Ajá. Ah, antes, antes de pasar, antes de pasar, subo, subo, ahí, ahí. En este caso, en la pregunta acá, how many gallons of gas for the lift does he need sin S? Porque ya el das está haciendo la acción de la tercera persona. Ok. Ok, how much water do Anna and Hugo need? Ok, yeah, good.
Nubia has to cook lunch every day. Nubia has to call the client of the company. Nubia doesn't have to wash the car. Nubia doesn't have to clean the house. Hilma has to receive English class. <laughs> the English class. Hilma has to prepare the breakfast. Uh huh. Hilma doesn't have to wake up early. Ah, good for you, man. Hilma <laughs> doesn't have to clean the garden. Nice. Sí, so le sería ahí, ahí. All right, the English class. Okay, good. So, ahora creo que sí, ya es tiempo que volvamos, all right? Let's okay. go back to the main section and let's see what's up with the rest of the people. Let's see you there. I can see that everybody's happy. Hey, ¿qué, onda? ¿Qué pasó con los demás? What's happening here? No quieren volver. They don't want to come back or what? Ok. Bueno, esperemos que el sistema los expulse. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I mean, they don't want to. Oh, oh, they... Una de dos. Una de dos. O... Oh, Está bueno el chisme. O no quieren volver, ajá, o no, todavía están haciéndolo, o ya se fueron. No, ah, no, ya, ya vienen. Ah, ya los está expulsando. ¿sí? Ya no me dejó terminarle de contar la novela a Estefany, no, Betich. Ajá, ¿y sí? I told you. La Rosa de Guadalupe la estaba contando. Sí, qué mala onda. Ya ve que les dije. Ah, no la Rosa de, Guadal de Guadalupe estamos ya, ahí. Ya yeah. ve que les dije, no quieren volver, pero el sistema los va a expulsar de ahí. <risa> no, pero ahorita. ¿Ah? Em em empecemos con la número uno, Stephanie. ¿Cuál es la número uno? <risa> Ay, come on, man. No, listen, listen. If you haven't finished, listen, if you haven't finished, ¿quiénes terminaron y quiénes no terminaron? Like, to be honest. Uh, right. My group finished right. because finish? I don't know the stay. Good. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Good. Cool. My group. Uh, Ever, your group finish? It was you, uh, Jennifer, and William, right? You finish. Okay, nice. Right. Very good. Uh, uh -huh. Fatima, did your group finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, nice. Pura suprema, eh? Obviously, man. Eh, Vanessa, did your group finish? Yes, teacher, finish. Ah, Sorry. okay. All right, very good. What are we going to do? Listen. Mañana, entonces, nos vamos a poner a revisar cada una de ellas, okay? Which one is correct, which one is not? Especially the one we have to and has to for motivos de tiempo, okay? I don't want to, to you to be here like for more than, you know, like more than the time that you were supposed to be here. So we're gonna stop in here, okay? And tomorrow we will continue just with the check-in of those activities before starting the main section, okay? So we're gonna stop in here and uh, I'm gonna pass the attendance list right now. Give me a second. So let's see, Ana Claribel. Present. Ah, okay, good. Ana Maria didn't show up. Uh, Carlos Ademir. Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. Eric Guillermo. Present teacher. No, okay, nice. Right after ever, uh, I mean Eric ever de Jesus. Present. Okay, ever according to this, today is your 10 minutes feedback, okay? So let's stay after class. Okay, teacher. Good. Fatima Alejandra. Present, teacher. Okay. Uh, Hilmar Cruz. 
Present. Good. Jonathan Alexander is not here. Jorge Elvir. Jorge Elvir. Let me see. Let me I'm see. here. I'm here. <laughs> okay. Okay, Mr. <Mister. laughs> Okay, there you go. Tengo presión en este momento, ya. Yes, I, 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 <laughs> no, I no heard problem, that. No problem. I heard that. No problem. <laughs> Pero estoy trabajando, así que que se aguante. No, bro. <laughs> okay, Carla Benacer. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Margot Hernández is not here, right? Uh, Maritza Alcira. Uh, no, she's not here. Uh, Natalie Vanessa is not here. Romeo Alexis. Present. Good. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Perfect. Ruth Joanna. Present teacher. No, okay. Thank you. Uh, Sara Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Liz, eh, Stephanie Lisset. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Vanessa Oder. Present, teacher. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Did Vanessa say that? Okay. Uh, William Alberto. Okay, William. I think William left. Now, Roxana Yesenia. Aquí estoy. Here, <laughs> yeah, I mean, there you are. Good. Julia uh, <laughs> Zulema. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Uh, Jennifer Noemi. I'm here, teacher. Uh, Jennifer Noemi, like, mata. <laughs> Very dangerous, Jennifer. Hmm. And the last one, Diana Gabriela. Present. No, okay, good. Present. <laughs> ah, that's a double present. Ese sí es un doble presente. <laughs> okay, <laughs> very good. So people, uh, what are we gonna do tomorrow? Remember, just check that thing and tomorrow we will uh, read what you were doing Ok, in the last activity, para los que me deben tarea, por favor, después de clase voy a estar esperando la tarea. Ok, just to send up that grade, ok, those grades. So please do the homework and see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Descanse, teacher, no esté desvelando. Usted me hace desvelarme. Te doy toda la razón, Eric. Te doy toda la razón. Good night. Good night, everybody. Everybody. No lo quiere la, la señora y cerca por eso. No, bro. <risa> Mire, Ever me va a tener por 10 minutos acá adicional. <risa> ok. See you. Thank you. See you, man. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. All right, let's see who's here. Ah, man. Tenemos dos oyentes. Yes, two listeners. Mrs. Sí, sí, sí. Yeah, sí, Mrs. Sí. Mrs. Urrutia is there. Right, Mrs. Urrutia? Ah, I think she's not there. Now, vamos a, vamos a hacer algo con Maritza porque creo que y ha estado bastante mal de salud y creo que es, no sé si lo dejo así o oh, let, me, let, me, let me check. Put in the waiting room. And the same thing I'm going to do with. Se fue la tienda. Yes. <laughs> Se fue la tienda. Okay. <laughs> now, listen. What are we going to do? Remember, these 10 minutes are going to be for you to clarify any doubts that you can have, okay, with the previous topic or the topics that we were discussing, okay? Any pronunciation doubts, any structure doubts, today is like the opportunity for you to clear up any idea or any doubts in this case that you might have. One that we that will have is mm -hmm. when 
we have. Cuando nosotros podemos diferenciar for the use for will or we are going to. Because the, the meeting is the same. Uh, is to, to, to the future or is to the... What it changes is only the structure. Yeah, ¿Cómo, po cómo podemos diferenciar o cómo poder uh, uh, utilizar el will con el going to, que es lo que estábamos aplicando en nuestros días? All right, check this out. Solo le voy a mencionar algunas de las funciones que tiene cada uno, ¿ok? Para que más okay. o menos tengamos una, una idea de cómo funciona. Ok. Be going to and will, ambos significan una acción a futuro. Ok, something that is not in the simple present, not in the simple past, but it is in future. Ok, usamos okay. be going to para hablar sobre acciones planificadas a futuro. Ok, example, I am going to, check this out, I am going to do the homework after class. Esto es algo que yo ya tengo planificado hacer. Ok, ya okay. pensé cómo hacerlo. Ok, ahora bien, cuando usamos will. Usamos will para acciones que hablan sobre el futuro, pero que en ciertos casos no está planificado. ¿Ok? Supongamos su teléfono suena. Ah, usted va a decir, I will answer the phone or the cell phone. You see? I will answer the cell phone. Ah, contestaré la llamada. Es futuro. ¿Por qué? Porque usted va a hacer eso. Pero porque eh, estaba planificado hacerlo. No, right? Es una acción espontánea para algo uh -huh. del futuro. Ok. That's an spontaneous action. Ok. Sí. ¿Cuándo usamos be going to? Ah, para acciones que ya están planificadas a futuro. Por ejemplo, I am going to go to the beach next weekend. Ok. Supongamos que usted me dice, ahorita estamos platicando, right, about plans and everything, y usted me dice, hey, teacher, I am going to go to the beach next weekend. All right. Ok. Ah, y en el momento, ahorita en el momento, o sea, yo no sabía nada, y yo le digo, ok, I will go with you. Ah, iré con, con usted. I will go with you. Ah, es una eh, spontaneous decision. Es una acción espontánea. An spontaneous action. Entonces, ahí para acciones espontáneas, sin pensarlo mucho, se usa will. Ok. Ok. Para acciones espontáneas. Ah, ok. Yes. Ya, ya lo tengo claro. Be going to es para acciones planificadas a futuro próximo o futuro. Mm -hmm. Y el will es para acciones espontáneas o fortuitas que salen de la conversación, ¿verdad? Yes. Eso es oh. nada más un par de usos, ok, uh, o comparaciones entre ellas. Obviamente hay más, es una gran variedad, ok, pero esos son como los más principales. Los más principales. Es como, como, como if... Creo que if también es alguna auxiliar para futuro, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Usted está hablando de if, de este? ¿O cuál? Sí, yes, yes, right, if. No, es, en, este es, caso, es... Eh, en este caso, if es para mencionar sí, pero sí de condición. De sí. condición. ¿Cómo así? Sí, de condición. Listen, if I finish... The class, coma, I will, aquí usamos futuro, I will go to sleep. If I finish the class, I will go to sleep. Si termino la clase, iré a dormir. Ok, you see? Ok. En este It's caso me... acá, en este caso acá, just, just to finish. En este caso, cuando usamos así este tipo de condicionales, 
lo que hacemos es acá prácticamente es la causa y después acá con will es el efecto. La primera uh -huh. oración está en presente simple, la segunda oración tiene que estar en futuro. Ok, al utilizar if. Exacto. Okay. También, también puede surgir como reemplazo para hablar sobre condiciones o condicionales la palabra when. When también se puede utilizar. Ejemplo, when I finish the class, I will go to sleep. You see? Ok. Cuando termine eh, la lo, clase, iré a dormir. Utilizándolo como, como condicional, no como we are, we are question. Okay. Exacto, exacto. Acá no está como pregunta, está como una condición. Okay. ok. Y está en presente simple. Sí, le preguntaba por el if porque estoy viendo se, va, series, ¿verdad? Entonces estoy tratando de quitarle ya los, los subtítulos en inglés uh -huh. y util, escucho bastante el if, 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 y que querrá. Entonces, que, if es que para rara, formar. Es. Ajá. Ah. Es para sí. formar condiciones. Para formar condiciones pero me voy a fijar en esta estructura que me dice usted que después tiene que, tiene que ir primero la, la, el, 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 el condicionante y después como la consecuencia tendría que ir en la estructura en futuro, ¿verdad? Ajá. I will go. Inclusive podemos, podemos hacerlo de la, de, de, o podemos ponerlo, ok, the other way around, lo podemos, lo podemos también poner así, mire. I will go to sleep when I finish um, the, class. the class con la única diferencia que si lo ponemos así ya la coma no, no va a ir en medio no va a ninguna uh -huh. coma, es una sola oración I will go to sleep when I finish the class uh -huh. si llevamos el when o el if al principio entonces sí eh, en medio tiene que ir dividido por una coma ok yeah. eso, como, eso como estructura gramatical That's correct. Correct. Ok, perfecto, teacher. Ya, ya, me, ya me sacó de esa duda con, con el beacon, incluso del will, que era, que era lo que quería quedar claro. Ah, ok. Ok, sí. Que, que tenía esa, dándome la vuelta a la cabeza de cómo, <risa> cómo poder diferenciar el beacon con el will, en qué situaciones o cómo se utiliza. Ajá. Y ahora ya, ya, ya tengo clarificado eso. Ah, muy bien. Y mire, quería preguntarle, este, ¿cómo se dice homenaje? Cuando yo, quisiera, cuando yo me quiero referir a que, por ejemplo, en el colegio de mis hijos voy a hacer un homenaje a, al 15 de septiembre. ¿Homenaje es homenage o, no recuerdo la otra palabra que estaba utilizando, o tribute? Tribute, creo que yeah, era la otra. That's, that's, that's the one. Tribute. Tribute. Tribute to. Tribute to. Uh -huh. e ese sería la... la, la... Ese, es, ese es como ajá, rendir tributo o homenaje a algo o a alguien. O, o a algo o, a, o a algún tema específico, como en este hey. caso la, el, el, el 15 de septiembre, por decirlo. Exactly, así. exactly, exactly. That's tribute. Uh -huh. It's tribute, okay. Uh -huh. la man tribute. Right. tribute. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the, most, the most common one. Es como la más común. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y es prácticamente la, la, la mejor bien vista, ¿verdad? Para, para that's poder. Correct. Ah, okay. Yeah, like, like to start like that. Uh -huh. Ya me saco también de esa otra duda. ¿no? Yeah, that is the act, okay, of doing something or like a statement, uh -huh, for something. Right, to talk about something like in this case the independence day independence day okay thank you teacher okay any other question that you might have for the for the tip for the topic or for los temas solamente esto era lo que tenía pendiente por clarificar ajá ajá sí Ah, solamente, solamente eso, teacher. Only that. Ah, muy bien. Ah, con la que sí, con la que sí tenga, tenga un tanto de cuidado es con el uso del if, 
porque sí tiene varia, varias variantes. Uh -huh. eh, este que le les acabo de, 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 de hablar un poco acá, eh, este se le conoce como first conditional, primer condicional. First conditional, ok. Hay, hay, hay cuatro stages. Hay zero conditional, cero condicional, first conditional, second conditional, and third conditional. Cada uno de ellos funciona con una estructura diferente. El, el first conditional funciona con el presente simple y el futuro. Okay. Ya el second conditional ya funciona de, con otras estructuras. Ya no es presente simple y ya no es futuro. Ok. okay. Just keep Perfect. that in mind. Perfect, teacher. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, Eddie. Uh, a ver, let me, let me check. I'm going to erase this part and I'm going to stop sharing. There you go. Okay. So if there's nothing else to add, I guess you finished the, the homework uh, from, from one to five. Or oh, are you missing something? I'm practice? finished. Complete. Complete. There we go. No Excellent, then. So if you have completed that, okay, I've got no, no issues to you. So let's see you tomorrow then, Eric. I mean, Eric. Ever? <laughs> Perfect, teacher. Okay. See you tomorrow. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night.